Bear River Live welcomes you to this presentation of Bear River Sports. Feeds with a shot at the one minute marker and gets it to go! Man in the middle takes her time in. Robinson. In the middle and the cleanup is there! Good evening, everyone. Welcome in to Bear River High School as we start the week off again with another round of Bear River Sports. We'll start off with Lady Bears Soccer. Final home game of the season here for the Lady Bears. They'll be taking on the number two team in Region 11, Green Canyon. Green Canyon, Green Canyon coming off a loss against Mountain Crest 3-1, to one, with Mountain Crest winning the region this year. Lady Bears also coming in off a loss, though. Went to a shootout against Skyview, and Skyview came on top of that one. The game was tied at 2, shootout was won by Skyview 4-3. to three. But a couple goals on that one came from Janessa Esquivel, which leads Lady Bears in score. Goals now with eight. Gracie Meads now with seven goals. For the Green Canyon Wolves, Kaylee Hastings, 25 goals here on the season. Next to her will be 18 goals from Chloe Sadler. And we'll have the starting lineups. We'll step aside here for this and we'll be right back. Caitlin Jensen, number three. Kathleen Maughan, number four. Kaylee Holden, number six. Chloe Tensmeyer, number seven. Chloe Sadler, number 10. Eva Israelson, number 13. Chloe Chambers, number 22. And Caprielle Winder, number 41. And for your Bears, Bears, let's let them hear it! We've got number zero, Brooklyn Pond! Number two, Adelaide Allen. Number three, JJ Esquivel. Number eight, Pat Kerrigan. Number nine, Chelsea Wilkinson. Number 11, Livio Meeks. Number 17, Emory Brother. Number 26, Blur. Number 27, Destiny Mendoza. Number 32, Bailey Roberts. And number 33, Lexi Wynn. If everyone will stand and face the flag to the north, we will do our national anthem. Meet the dedicated veterinarians at Bear River Animal Hospital. Whether you have small or large animals, they can provide high quality customized vet services, including exams, vaccinations, surgery, dentistry, x-rays, and ultrasound. Make an appointment at 435-257-7455. Central Milling is personally invested in the quality of their products and their relationships with customers and suppliers. They are also a proud supporter of high school sports. Rudd Funeral Home is there to serve your family in your time of need. Kent's is your one-stop shop for fresh produce, bakery items, deli, and meat. Stop by today for fast, friendly service. For over 80 years, Farm Bureau agents have built relationships with you one conversation at a time. Let Kimberly Raydell and her team provide you with the best service for your home, auto, and life. Mountain Valley Printing is your one-stop print shop. They print on all apparel, as well as photo prints, copies, canvases, metal prints, banners, and more. Check out their Bear River High School merch shop. I'd like to 
welcome you back and thank you for your support by hopping on and watching. I'd like to thank our sponsors. We'll be doing that mostly during halftime. We get to some commercials. Bringing our second voice here this evening, Claire Wood. She's got your keys to the game. Claire, go ahead and take it away. Hello, welcome to another Bear River soccer game. Our coach Sandler from Green Canyon says that he wants them moving the ball side to side. He wants lots of change ups. He says he feels like says he feels like our team's going to get really condensed in the third, and he wants them to take advantage of every opportunity they can to switch the ball. He says they want to take care of their chances. He wants them taking every opportunity they have and taking care of those opportunities and not throwing them away. Bear River's coach, Waite, says she wants them to enjoy their last home game, and again, she wants us enjoying our time on our field and not worrying about the other team and how they're going to affect our chances. Back to you, Andy. Thanks, Claire. Like she says, it's the last home game. We we talked about our seniors last time against the Skyview Bobcats. So. No senior night tonight. You can see if the Lady Bears can defend the home turf. That's brought to you by Chanchera Sod Farms. Fall's a great time to either plant or get your sod down. Go hit them up there at Chanchera Sod. Season winding down. We'll take a we'll take a look at the RPI a little bit later on. Red River will start off with the possession. All in red. White top screen shorts here for Green Canyon. A little bit back and forth here after the kickoff. Team's trying to. Gather possession. Green Canyon, a very uh, patient. I'd say a patient team. This one goes off the leg, and Gr Bear River will have a throw in. Pretty deep in Green Canyon territory. Destiny Mendoza with a throw in on the far side. Throw one going with a carry again, cleared out. Mendoza stops it. Allen slows it down, but Green Canyon get it to midfield now. Pass going up to the middle. Stays on side. There's a shot. And it goes wide left. Shot on a B, I believe, by Kaylee Hastings, senior. Getting your leading score here for Green Canyon. That kind of a breakaway. i be able to capitalize on that one. Bear River's pass over to the far side here to Kerrigan from Esquivel. Goes out of bounds. Be throwing over Green Canyon far side. I like to think Rudd Funeral Homes. We'll let Joe and his family help your family. Wolf we'll puts it. Deep here in Bear River territory. Olivia Meads. Turns it back the other way. Here to Mendoza, but it's still Evergreen Canyon on the far side. Kerrigan trying to poke it away. Double team comes on. Drop back here for Green Canyon. That's what I mean by patient. They really don't force anything. They just work the ball around until they get an opening. But this whistle will go against Green Canyon. Give the Bears back the possession. Kenner on the far side trying to turn this one back around. Again, it was Chloe Tinsmeyer. Throwing it about midfield there for Bear River as Mendoza goes and shags it down. Quick throw down the line from Bear River. Headed out by Green Canyon. Now another throw in. Kerrigan with another quick throw in. Going over to Lexi Wynn. 
Lexi for the center. Trying to muscle that one through is Emery Crowther. It'll be a goal kick here for Green Canyon. Ruby Duke's a senior. Playing keeper here for Green Canyon. I like to play it out of the back. Are we throwing Mendoza? Another cloud here for Green Cannon, another throw-in coming here for Bear River. We'd like to thank the Utah State University, both the Brigham City and Tremont campuses, and for supporting your Region 11 teams. Play to the middle, headed back out here by Green Canyon. And swinging around. Here from Ma, she'll get a drop back over to her. In space, pushes it to midfield now. Drop goes down the line. And Shelby Wilkinson turning it back around. Are you throwing in for Green Canyon? I'm going to throw in a couple headers, and Olivia will drop it back over to Brooklyn Pond. Green Canyon working it back from the far side. Sadler will drop back over here to Tensmeyer. Sadler again. Supposed the defense inside, can't stay on her feet. And we'll call foul against Bear River. Possession to stay here with Green Canyon. Grace Albrecht with the free kick. Or she gets called off. Might have been Ma, but slap back down here by Brooklyn Pond. Punt takes a bounce over midfield. A big drop. Going back over here to Jukes. Long pass ahead. Brooklyn Pond will catch up to this before anybody else. Reset back in the middle, 33 minutes and 40 seconds still have to go here in the first half. Olivia Meads works it up out of the back, gives it over to Roberts. Roberts goes back over to the middle, poked away in Green Canyon. Trying to capitalize, going far side, there's a shot, goes up and over the goal. Brooklyn Pond will have a goal kick here for Bear River. Crowther sends it over to the far side. Mendoza unable to keep it in. It'll be a throw in far side here for Green Canyon. If you're in need of any screen printing or embroidery design, Cover Up's got you covered. Right there on Main Street in Tremont and Main Street, Brigham City. Two locations to get your orders done quickly. Tinsmeyer with a drop back. Here's Sadler. And the middle swings it back out. We're all the way to the far side now. Out on the same page there as this one rolls out of bounds. Goal kick here for Bear River. We like to think KSL Sports. You could be watching this game on the KSL Sports app. Go download your app. Go download that app wherever your apps are found. The pass going out of bounds here to Roberts. The rolling coming on the near side here for Green Canyon.
Here's real simple to throw one. She'll get it back. Pushed ahead. A lot of red jerseys around. Going to get the steal. Olivia Meads. Tries to turn this one around. We fight. Down the line. Throw one coming back here to Green Canyon. Kick over to the middle, nobody can clean that one up on up off the turf. Lexi Wynn with a good pass out of the far side. Kerrigan gonna bring it right back into the middle. Clear back out here to Kerrigan. Now with the cross in the middle, Gracie Meads. First time calling her name here in this one. Tries to get a little window. It'll be deflected off of Green Canyon. Throwing coming here for Bear River. First up of the ball game. Looks like we'll have number 14 here for Bear River. Riley Marshall checking in. Freshman here for Bear River. Bailey Roberts with the throwing. And she will have another as this one's headed out here by Green Canyon. Something for everybody out there in Tanglewood Studios. Another header out. Another throw in here for Bailey Roberts. Green Canyon's got a couple subs ready to come in on the far side. This one's thrown back over to Gracie. Sent back over to the middle. Cleared out here by Green Canyon. Throwing coming here for Green Canyon, near side. We'll get at least three subs in here for Green Canyon. Fresh legs. 29 and a half minutes to go here in the first half. Mott with the throwing. Here on the near side for Green Canyon. Hastings. Trying to get it down the line, but sent back here by Roberts. Put ahead, collected here by Olivia Mead to the middle. There's Shelby, her pass taken away. Hey. Green Canyon again, returns it back here to Bear River, side of the field. Green Canyon plays it back over to the middle with the one touch. Broken up here by Bear River. Ma collects as Gracie comes on, the drop back. Back over to Jukes. Winder doing a good job here for Green Canyon. There's a little pass ahead. And the shot going to go wide to the left. Maybe looking to go back over to the middle. There to Hastings, but goal kick either way here for Bear River. 27 minutes. Just under 28, I guess. That'll go. Crowder able to keep it in. Green Canyon. And sends it down the far side. Eyes up to the middle. Brooklyn Pond able to bring it down. Ball taking a bounce at about midfield. Green Canyon returns it back. Sadler just drops this one back again across midfield. Oh, 
Sadler with the pass here to the near side. Another drop. Sadler getting out of the middle. Tries to force that one in. Here's Hastings trying to find some space. She'll have to drop back as the defense closes on her. Sadler with a window, takes a shot, and a bounce. Blocked again by Brooklyn Pond. Gracie saves it from going out. A little control here on the near side. Trying to get a pass. It'll be a throw in here for Bear River. Gracie wants to push the tempo up a little bit here for Bear River. Going back into Crowther. There's a pass ahead. A little roll out of bounds over throw and coming here for Green Canyon. I'd like to thank Bear River Animal Hospital, keeping your pets healthy and happy and supporting your lady bears. Big throwing coming in. Here from Green Canyons at number 11. Ingrid, a senior here for the Wolves. Marshall trying to push it through. Pass it ahead here to the middle. Lexi wins. Sends it back right over here near side to Gracie. Canyon, near side with it. Hastings moves it into space and the pass off the mark. Throwing coming here for the Lady Bears. So Kamek checks in and so does Reese here for the Lady Bears. No subs come in here for Green Canyon. Bailey Roberts with the throw in coming. Out in front of the Bears bench. Sadler collects and drops back over Green Canyon. The pass is going to be picked off. Kick ahead. We'll roll into the arms here of Jukes. I collected here by Sadler, past the head, and the shot gonna go in. First goal there for Green Canyon comes from number nine, Kylie Hastings. I'm gonna look at that on the CNR replay. Again, it was tied up to the, Brooklyn comes out to match it. But able to squeeze a pass again as you're not leading, well, yeah, she is the leading scorer. Kelly Hastings, senior. Make it down as goal number 26 on the season. Green Canyon trying to work it. Back the other way, Bear River trying to answer back. Now trail 1-0. And a whistle. They're stop playing on the far side. Got an injured Green Canyon player. Nothing too serious, play will Go on and a big kick. Guess going again. I guess turns it back the other way. This is Wilkinson now. Pushes it over far side. Kamek's pass goes out of bounds. Throw in for Green Canyon. 
Frank May's got a machine for every season. Go pick up yours there. And Honeyville, Frank May Skidoo. Or go get yours tuned up here for the upcoming season. I'd like to thank them for being a supporter here for Bear River Athletics. Sadler bringing it back here for Green Canyon. The pass ahead gets through. And the sh pass over to the middle goes across the face of the goal. Goal kick here for Brooklyn Pond with 22 minutes. We'll have to go here in the first. Pond with the goal kick. Back over here to Olivia. Tries to go to Gracie down the line. Throwing coming here for Green Canyon. Blotter with the throw and she'll get it back and a steal. Lady Bears keeping it in here on the near side. This is Reese. Escavel with the pass ahead here to Gracie. Gracie from the far side with the left kick, puts it up, headed right back out here by Green Canyon. Good build up there by Bear River and a collision. Draws a whistle, giving the possession over to Green Canyon. Now with 21 minutes to go. Green Canyon in the lead 1-0 here in the first half. The big kick here from Albrick. Gets headed back the other way here by Roberts. Gracie collects. Gracie sends a long. It'll be another drop here for Green Canyon. Ruby sends it back the other way. You're down the line, stolen away by Gracie Meads. Off her a little bit too high. Green Canyon will bring it back the other way. And Hastings will get caught off sides. I believe it means we'll have the free kick here for Bear River. Can you move the far side? Kamek with a steal. This one will bounce out of bounds in front of the Green Canyon bench. Throwing coming far side here for the Wolves. Law now on the far side. Headed up by Sadler. Good move. Get freed up. Here's a shot that goes up and over the goal. Shot on here by Kaylin Jensen, another senior. Here for Green Canyon, they'll have a few subs come in. Goal kick here for Bear River. You can like to thank Cash Valley Bank. They've got you covered with branches from the top of the state throughout the state all the way to the bottom. Now with Cash Valley Bank. I could thank their support for Region 11 Athletics. Law sends it back the other way. Bounces off Bear River. It'll be a throw in here for Green Canyon. Tensmeyer to throw in at about midfield here for Green Canyon. Throw into Hastings. Gets dropped back here by Kamek over to Wilkinson. Escavel, her pass intercepted. They let that one play on. Pass over to Gracie, able to stay with. Reese retracts back over. Here to Roberts. Marshall drops, big kick here from Wilkinson. It's returned here by Green Canyon. Gracie just resets this one out of bounds. Throwing far side again. 
Tinsmeyer and Green Ken with the throw in. Whoops, one substitution coming in here for the Wolves this time. Throw in goes into Hastings, another drop back. Hastings again with it. Sends it over the middle. And a kick off the mark wide left. Goal kick coming here for Brooklyn Pond again. Again, he only leads 1 0. 17 minutes. About 14 seconds still have to go. Roberts clicks here on the near side. Good move here by Esquivel pushing it through. Collected up here by Reese Tinsmeyer from behind, pokes that one away. She'll get it on the far side, send it ahead across midfield. Sidler will draw back. Tinsmeyer again goes down the line. Tinsmeyer again. Trying to pass over to Hastings. She'll run with this one, but it goes out of bounds before she can reach it. And it'll be a goal kick here for Bear River. Lexi win back in here for Bear River. I think Valley View Granite, they're giving your different views of the game with our sideline camera. I'd like to thank them for supporting your Lady Bears. Of the throw in far side of Green Canyon. Holden this time with the throw in into Sadler. Pass broken up again here by Reese. Sends it ahead. Gracie throws it into another gear, catches up to this one here on the near side, trying to go back over the middle. It'll be broken up again here by Green Canyon. Roberts from midfield. Back out here to Gracie, trying to one-touch it back over to Esquivel. It's taken away. The drop back over to Ruby. Jukes clears it. Out of bounds. Throng coming here for Bear River. Roberts with the throw. And to Gracie, Kamek. There's a more middle. Green Canyon gets it back. Hastings sends it here to the near side. And Hastings went going for a pass, not on the same page, stolen away here by Roberts. He push ahead, Esquivel outnumbered. Here's the drop. Back over to Ruby. Esquivel goes to follow. Another drop here by Green Canyon. From the corner, Green Canyon works it back out. Watterson back over to the middle. Sadler flips the field with that pass. She'll get it back on a one touch. Pass from the far side, pushes it down the line. Again, Green Canyon quickly back, deep in Barrier territory. Good defensive stop here by Wilkinson. Sadler with a steal. Deep inside, drives in. There's a pass to the middle and well contested here by the Lady Bears. Trying to make it back over to, I believe, Watterson. Scary moment there for Bear River. Collected up. And another one deflected out here by Bear River. Tinsmeyer. Not falling asleep on that one. Almost got a cheap one there, but the Lady Bears defense knocked this one out. Sets up a corner kick here for Green Canyon. Sadler takes it over to the far side. Almost came away with an assist just moments ago.
Hold this plant short, out of the corner. Back over to Sadler in the middle, clear down here by Bear River's defense. To go out of bounds, Rowan coming here for Green Canyon. 12 and a half minutes now to go here in the first half, still a 1-0 ball game. Get your prints at MVP. Mountain Valley Printing, that is, right there on Main Street. Here in Tremont. Escavel can't keep it in. It'll be another throw in here for Green Canyon. Tensmeyer looking for somebody. Also Dan Claus. Escavel pokes this one away. Return here at midfield by Green Canyon. It'll go out of bounds. Throwing coming here for the Lady Bears. Roberts will have it here on the near side. Not before a sub. Chemical check out. Allen will check back in. Another throw in. Zadler. The long pass far side poked away, but collected it back here by Green Canyon. Return, up a bounce. Collected here by Wilkinson, now over to Reese. She'll take a bump, no call. Sadler will take it far side. Hastings trying to look for some space. Drop back, sent back. Tinsmeyer with a shot. And the arms here at Brooklyn Pond. Reese drops. Green Canyon. Far side with a good move, gets in deep, but Wilkinson forces her to the end line. Cleared back out. This is Sadler with the cleanup back over to the middle. Sadler again, near side. Lines this one up, places it over far side. Gonna have to be cleaned up in from the corner. Here from Felt. We'll go out of bounds. This is deflected off Bear River. Corner kick, Evergreen Canyon. So you got three subs coming in here for Green Canyon. Emery Crowther checks back in here for Bear River. Sadler again down the end line. Trying to work it in, here's a shot that goes in here for Green Canyon. Number 21, JC Knight, I believe. Gets that one, we'll take a look at on the CNR replay. Tinsmeyer works it down, you see her just work inside. Just think that one past Pond. Now a 2-0 lead with 8 minutes and 59 seconds still to go here in the first. I can think Greer's do a best hardware, Tom and his team. Some of the community since 1976. Gracie over to Olivia here in the middle. That's down the line, good move. Here's Crowther with a shot and a hop. Back into the arms here of Ruby Jukes. Up, 
Sadler. Swings it near side. One touch back over here to the near side. Move it down the line. Hastings back over into the middle. Slowing away here by Allen. Collect by Sadler. Far side, cleared out here by Bear River. Takes in bounds on the far side. Green Canyon returns. Back here with Sadler down the line. Allen again with another steal. It's over to Gracie, one touch. We're gonna back over to Win. And this pass gonna go out of bounds. A little too much on that one here from Lexi. Throw one coming here for Green Canyon. Throw one goes backwards. Winner with a move. Sadler tries to thread the needle, stopped here by Roberts. Cleared out again here by the Lady Bears defense. From the far side, and a shot from distance gets through Brooklyn Pond. Let's go by number 20. Ella Watterson, another senior. One more look at it here on the CNR replay. Ups the lead 3 0. Six minutes and 20 seconds to go. Escavel back into the game. Roberts on the one touch from Esquivel. Gracie collects here on the near side. Winder's pass broken up here by Bear River. Pushing it out of the far side again. I think good poke away. Allen controls it now in the middle. Her pass deflected away. That's Kerrigan sending it back the other way. Green Canyon now here to the near side. Hastings. A little hard of the middle. Sadler able to recover. Here's the one touch back over to her. Sadler now to the middle. Looks for a shot. Maybe it closes on her. There's a shot and finds the top corner. And Green Canyon coming alive towards the end here in the first half. This time a goal here by Chloe Sadler. Her 19th goal of the season bumps up the lead 4 to 0 with 5 minutes and 9 seconds. Here in this one. Of course Green Canyon looking to make another run deep into the playoffs and that'll start I think next week. Throwing coming here for Green Canyon. Winder with the pass over to the middle. Sadler with the pass in the middle here to Hastings. She'll get outnumbered, stolen away here by Allen. Look 
to throw in here for Bear River far side. Kamek will throw in to Lexi Wynn. Sadler sends it over to Winder here in the middle. Nice steal here for Bear River. Allen with the pass. As Cavell saves it from going out of bounds. Takes a shot, kind of not real set off to the right. It'll be a goal kick. Under three and a half to go here in the first. 4 0 lead over Green Canyon. Sadler works it back here on the Bears half of the field. Off another drop. Winter trying to get it back here in the middle. Cleared out here by Gracie. Wilkinson. Trying to bring it back the other way. She'll have another opportunity here with a big kick. Here to the near side, throwing. This first half starts winding down. Olivia with a quick throw and down at Gracie. Sadler to the middle. Winder with it. Roberts collects. Gracie pushes it down. A header sends it back the other way over Green Canyon. Allen returns the favor. Winder again breaks up that pass. Escavel trying to get it back. Carrying down the line, they'll go out of bounds. Throwing coming here for Green Canyon. He went over the drop. With the one minute mark here in the first half. We'll pass out to the far side. Sadler in the middle. Lady Bear is able to break that up. And again, into the middle. Here for Green Canyon, cleared out by Olivia. Throwing coming here for Green Canyon, deep in Bear River territory. Only 30 seconds left to go here in the first half. I think Kent's Market, one stop shop, fresh produce, bakery deli. And a pharmacy all under one roof. Escovel with a good steal. Going to work it down the line. This pass a little too much. Ten seconds now. And we've reached halftime. Near Bear River High School. Again, final home game here for the Lady Bears. They find themselves behind. 4-0 to at halftime against the Green Canyon Wolves. We'll come back here in a little bit, take a look at the RPI and see if the playoffs were to happen or start tonight. See where everybody would be playing. But we'll thank some of our sponsors before that, so don't go anywhere. For 20 years, Valley View Granite has offered our local community the best quality and service for their home countertops. 
With the addition of Marble Ventures in Ogden, Utah, our team is now able to offer the same reliable and dependable service for their showers, tub surrounds, and more. With locations from Sandy to Idaho Falls, we offer the best value without sacrificing quality for your build or remodel. Come in and see us today. Valley View Granite, enhancing places people gather. Cash Valley Bank is dedicated to fostering local businesses, aiding financial growth, and building strong relationships. From personal to business banking, we are committed to helping you reach your financial goals. Cash Valley Bank, mountains await. Bear River Animal Hospital takes care of small and large animals, providing pediatric care all the way up to senior pets. They deliver high quality, customized vet services with their dedicated team. Services include exams, vaccinations, surgeries, dentistry, fully equipped laboratory and pharmacy, along with x-ray and ultrasound. Many of these same services can be conveniently provided on the farm. Bear River Animal Hospital is filled with highly trained animal lovers who will provide the best care for the animals in your life. For all your project needs, shop at Greer's Hardware, happily serving the community since 1976. With over 60 years of experience and personalized service, Guild Mortgage is your key to home ownership in Box Elder County and beyond. Friends and neighbors you know and trust. Trudy, Chris, Julie, Shannon, Rollin, Tara, Brittany, Andy, Chelsea. Stop by or give us a call today. Guild Mortgage, own what matters. Miller Medical is ready to care for clients with full services for family medical. They also offer beauty and spa health treatments with hot stone and IV vitamin therapies, as well as Botox. Let Miller Medical take care of all your health care needs. Central Milling is the farmer, the miller, and the baker working to preserve American farmland for tomorrow while preserving the highest quality of flour and grains to the bakers of today. Select the best products for your family by using Central Milling Company. Let GBI help you get your project completed on time and on budget. If you're looking for work, join GBI's team for a great work environment, competitive pay, and benefits. Rudd Funeral Home is a locally owned family operated business. Joe Rudd and his family, as well as their devoted staff, are committed to providing you with the best service possible during a difficult time. Their beautiful facilities have all the necessary amenities. A large viewing room can also double as a smaller, more intimate funeral chapel. The chapel is even equipped with streaming capabilities to make sure family and friends are connected no matter how far they may be. Rudd Funeral Home is there to help you in your time of need.
The grill has a wide variety of homemade appetizers. Can't decide what to get? Then build an appetizer combo. No matter what you're craving, the grill has something for everyone. Did you know Kent's Market has an app? And it's free! Just go to your app store and type in Kent's Market and it'll come right up. Downloading the Kent's Market app gives you access to digital coupons, weekly deals, and access to your Kent's Kickback account. As you can see, the app is easy to use and can help you save. Download it now and get exploring! We'll see you soon at Kent's. For all your embroidery and screen printing needs, whether for business or just for fun, stop by Cover Up in Tremont or Brigham. At Cover Up, yeah, we can do that. Investing in your education is an investment in yourself. Open doors with a degree from Utah State University and find your path to a more rewarding future. Reach your goals by attending USU Brigham City while staying close to home and saving money. Give yourself a chance to see the return. Your way, on campus, online. This is your U-State. Lincoln Financial specializes in estate, investment, and retirement planning, as well as business benefits. At Lincoln, they are totally impartial, comb through different options to create financial products a person needs. Lincoln Financial, big city service, small town care. Mountain Valley Printing is your one-stop print shop. They print on all apparel, as well as photo prints, copies, canvases, metal prints, banners, and more. Check out their Bear River High School merch shop for amazing swag. They even have fundraising opportunities. Rock and Roll Construction Products, providing new cart concrete and landscaping products. Tanglewood Studios has something for everyone, whether it's dance, cheer, color guard, or gymnastics. There's even recreational all-boys gymnastics along with Mama Me classes. Family rates are available, so come join the fun. The KSL Sports app, powered by KSLSports.com. Connecting you with all the jazz action, the dunks, buzzer beaters, and ankle breakers. Podcasts from the pros and in-depth analysis. Download the free KSL Sports app today. Bear River Live is proud to bring you another production, Talk of the Town. These weekly episodes will bring local stories to life and keep you informed on what is happening in the community, as well as business spotlights and expert tips. Welcome back here to Bear River High School. We'll take a look at the... RPI for you wonderful people here to support us by watching. Green Canyon will get the first round by standing number third if the playoffs were to start tonight. The Lady Bears in the number 20th spot. They would be taking on the, I believe the 13th spot, which would be heading down to Sunny St. Well, not quite to St. George Cedar. Cedar City with a nine and six record. If everything holds up, again, only one more game here before the season's over. Playoffs will begin next week. Again, playoffs around the corner. Go download the KSL Sports app and follow you through the bracket play. After all your home sites are done. Next broadcast will be at Logan on Thursday to finish off the Lady Bears regular season here in soccer. So if we can't make it over the hill, we'll have that one for you. And we get 
Ready for the second half here in this one. Green Canyon in the lead, 4-0. Man, that was 1-0 for a long time there in the first half. Just towards the end there. Green Canyon started getting a couple good looks. Green Canyon will start off with the possession. Kick ahead here from Green Canyon, gets a field at far side. Hastings with it. Roberts on the defense. Sent over here to the middle. Wilkinson able to disrupt that pass, but still collected here in the middle. There's a shot. Good punch here by Brooklyn Pond, putting it up. Pond with a punt. Around midfield, Lexi Wynn trying to battle up back. It'll be a drop here by Green Canyon. Hastings trying to work it back into the middle again. Poked away here by Roberts and over to the far side here by Allen. But Hastings will still back away. We'll drop it back at midfield. Turning it back over to Hastings far side. Winter now moves it over into the middle. Back out of Hastings. Sadler now with a drop. Back over to Sadler. Sadler's pass ahead, cleared right back out here by the Lady Bears defense. Pass ahead, there's a shot and another goal here for Green Canyon. Ups their lead quickly here in the second half, making up 5-0. Thirty-eight minutes and nine seconds still left to go. Five-zero lead over Green Canyon. Lexi Wynn with the drop back. Here you're just going again. Kick ahead. Go out of bounds. Throw one coming here for Green Canyon. Mall with a big throw in. Headed back here by Bear River. Escavel tries to push that one through off Mom into the arms of Ruby. Flips the field with it on the far side. Tinsmeyer gets it back over to Bear River territory before Roberts pokes it away. Swing in the field yet again, but this one we're going out of bounds. What about midfield throwing coming in for Bear River? Trying to get that goose egg off the scoreboard. Take the shot out away here from Jukes. Sadler's pass taken away here again by Wilkinson. Hastings with a shot off the far pole. The right pole, anyhow. Sadler to the middle. Calling for it back. Over to Hastings, a one touch. Back over to Sadler. A little bit too far on the end line. She'll slip and fall down. It'll go out of bounds. Goal kick coming here for Bear River.
We'll return it back. On the near side, look at that shot curl right in. Pretty shot from distance here from Green Canyon's number 22. Chloe Chambers gets her eighth goal of the season and bumps the lead up 6-0. One more look at this one. Brought to you by CNR Trailer Sales. I'd like to thank them for being a replay sponsor all season long. Throw one coming fireside here for Green Canyon. Kelly Holden to throw in. Holden goes down the line. Another drop back over to her. Pushes it up. Here to Tensmeyer. Tensmeyer lays it here in the middle. Escavel with a little poke away. Winter with a far side. Tinsmeyer back up the far side. Not on the same page. Brooklyn Pond scoops this one up off the turf. He's trying to make a play on it here on the near side. Pulls it off the line. Little bit of space and overshoots this one wide left. Back to another goal kick here for Bear River at the 34 middle mark here in the second half. Here again, try to go down the line. Last touch here by Esquivel. Another throw in here for Green Canyon. Israelson. An illegal throw in here for Green Canyon. Give the possession back here to Bear River. Carrigan with a throw in, going down the line. Israelson sends it back the other way. Wonder pushes the far side. Good defensive collapse there on that one. But here's to the middle and a shot deflected away here by Brooklyn Pond. Sets up a corner kick here on the near side. And a good look here for Green Cam and Canyon, but a great stop here by Green Canyon. Again, they're going to work it out of the corner on the ground. Big kick out of bounds. Goal kick for Brooklyn Pond. Throw in coming here for Bear River. Kamek finds an opening here to Lexi Wynn here in the middle. Crowder trying to play on it. Win able to clean it up. This one ends up into the keeper's hands. Ruby will walk it out. Across the midfield, it's an over far side.
Sadler will get it back out in the middle. Winners pass a little bit too far. Collected up here by Olivia Meads. Olivia over to Esquivel, a little bit of space. Closes in fast, another steal over Green Canyon. Winder drops back over to Sadler. Sadler to the middle. Here to Hastings. The shot blocked here by... There's going to be a whistle against Green Canyon. Free kick here for Bear River, but it's returned quickly here by Green Canyon. Here's Hastings over to the middle, cleared out here by Roberts. Collected here by Kamek here on the near side, stolen away here by Green Canyon. On another drop, Kamek's going to take it away again. So stay with it, and Ma sends it back the other way here for Green Canyon. Sadler. Long pass and a little chip shot off the pole. They call him offside, so goal will not count here on Green Canyon. 29 minutes, just under 30. Still left to play. A free kick here for Bear River. Olivia going to Kerrigan. Sent back the other way. Drop back over to Olivia again. In space, not afraid to bring it up. Crowther tries to turn it back the other way. Camera controls here on the near side. Deflected away here by Esquivel. Ma trying to get a big return off of that one. Hastings able to save it? No. Throwing coming here for Bear River. Gracie Meads checks right back in here for Bear River. Substitutions here for Green Canyon, rolling for Bear River down the line, back into Gracie. Gracie down to Esquivel. Janessa trying to work it back inside, sets up a goal kick here for, or corner kick, excuse me, here for Bear River. So we have the 28 minute mark here in the second half. Green Canyon leads 6 0. Kamek with a shot, this one over the top of the goal. Not a bad idea here for Bear River, trying to again knock that zero off the scoreboard. Sadler with some space. Her pass taking him or sent back the other way here by the Lady Bears defense. Sadler again trying to get over to Hastings. Stays on side. Drop back out. Gracie tries to turn it back the other way. Crowther makes it through two defenders. Sends it over far side here to Marshall. Marshall trying to go back over middle. Stolen away here by Green Canyon. Wonder where the pass far side. Tries to work it back in. Olivia with another steal for Bear River. 
Kavik takes over here in the middle. Liga stand with. This one deflected back. In play here by Gracie. Roberts collects. Hastings going to chase it down here on the near side. Hastings with a pass into the middle. Gets it deflected right back over to her, though. With the left leg. Going to be off Wilkinson and Pond will scoop this one up. Escobar with a steal, wants to push it down on the far side. Marshall, unable to keep it inbounds, throwing coming. River and Canyon, far side. Get your kitchen or bathroom looking great with granite. Get it to Valley View Granite. I'd like to thank them for supporting your Bear River Athletics. Ball with a kick ahead here at midfield. Pass taken away here by Roberts. Crowther with the pass. Take away here by Green Canyon. Sadler with it. Going to give it back over far side. Quick pass and Roberts all over that one and takes this one to the end or to the sidelines. Hammock returns. Ma out of nowhere. Comes back. Pass into the middle off the mark. Going right back over to Sadler. It'll be goal kick here for Bear River. Just under 24 minutes to go. Reese checks in. Sadler gives it off here in the middle. Defense collapses. Another drop. By Green Canyon with the left and a stop here by Brooklyn Pond. Roberts sends it ahead from midfield. Ruby comes out of the box and clears this one out. Throw one coming far side here for Bear River. Get covered for Otto and Hall. They're a Farm Bureau Insurance. Another supporter here of Bear River Athletics. Escavel with a long shot. Blocked down here by Ruby. Just scoop this one up. That's again broken up here by Olivia Meads. Reese sends it out far side here to Marshall. Harrigan collects back into the middle. Drop here from Wynn. Back over to Wilkinson. This one cleared out here by Green Canyon. Throwing coming. Twenty-one and a half minutes to go. Lady Bears will have the throw in. 
Kerrigan. Throwing out here for Green Canyon. Ma with a throw. Big throw down the sideline, collected here by Sadler. Take it to the end line, send it back into the middle. Nobody there. Winder. In the middle, passes it off to Hastings, far side. Saves it from going out of bounds, drops it back. Pick from behind is Esquivel. She'll push it down the far side here to Marshall. Marshall trying to leave it there for Esquivel, taken away by Winder. It's rolling coming here for Green Canyon. JC Knight from about midfield with the throw in. Stolen here by Olivia. Winder back over to Knight. Knight down the line there to Hastings. We'll give and go. So Knight follows it into the corner. Sadler trying to control it, keeps it low, it goes out of bounds. Goal kick here for Bear River. Adeline Kent checks in here for Bear River. Couple substitutions in for Green Canyon. The drop collected up. Here's a shot off the top bar. Another goal kick Here for Bear River. Tyler over to Hastings. Hastings looking for a shot. Good block here by Brooklyn Pond. Sadler collects the rebound. Eddie is able to clear it out. Green Canyon resets up top. Pass too far ahead. Brooklyn Pond again. Fine by Kerrigan. Gracie sends us into the middle. Marshall able to get it down, sent back outside to Kent. Kent going back into the middle, and Winder sends that one to the crowd. Third one coming far side. Bear River, 17 and a half to go here in this one. Possession to stay with Bear River on the far side. Olivia Meads. Good kick here in the middle. Gracie gets it up. And into the arms of Ruby Juke. Look at this on the Seeing our replay, a lot of congestion right there in the middle. Nobody could get, really get a play on it. Whistle will go against Green Canyon on a trip. Let's 
Sadler in some space, sends it here to the near side. Flipping it over far side. Tinsmeyer. Gets past the defense, sends back over to Hastings. Hastings with a shot. And up and over Brooklyn Pond. That'll be Hastings' second shot of this evening. Putting the lead up 7-0 with 50, you know, just under 16 minutes to go. One more look here on the CNR replay. Hastings trying to get it back into the middle. Roberts kicks it right back out, collected here by Gracie. Able to get through one defender. Tries to quickly go into the middle. It's deflected out here by Green Canyon. And a corner kick here for Bear River. Behind the blind spot here on the light pole. Gracie and Olivia pulling out of the corner and the cleanup almost goes in. Kent had the opportunity to land into the hands of Ruby Jukes when we're looking at it here on the CNR replay. So maybe needs a little bit more. Oh, now they're from Cam. That one's point in the books. This is Sadler pushing it ahead, trying to get it through the defense back over to Hastings. Does it on the second attempt. The Lady Bears defense able to break it up again. Hastings with the drop. This is Winder with a little give and go. Winder into the middle. Good block here by Brooklyn Pond. And another clear out. So it's a big corner kick here for Green Canyon near side. From the corner, this is Chloe Sadler. A little soft touch and um, a not so soft touch on the shot up and over the goal. Shot on by here by Ella Watterson. Escavel will take up some space. Leaving it here for Gracie. Gracie into the middle with a shot. Again, stopped here by Jukes. Guild Mortgage, formerly Academy Mortgage. Same great people there, though. Now the rates dropped. Might be a good time to refinance. Guild Mortgage has got you covered. Or if you're just in need of a mortgage, they can help you out there as well, obviously. Pawn sends this one back to midfield. Mosa goes against Green Canyon. And Olivia sets up the free kick just inside Green Canyon's half of the field. Comes off foot a little bit weird. Playable. Ooh, snagging quickly out of the air. Ruby Jukes. Sadler's long kick over to Pond.
Winder changes the directions, trying to go back in the middle, broken up here by Wilkinson. Clear it out. Our Lady Bears defense. Wilkinson again. Now Roberts. Gracie with a little breakaway, left leg shot in. They say foul, no foul. Gracie's wondering what's up. Take one more look at it here on the CNR replay. It'll be a corner kick here for Bear River. able to get a goal on a corner kick just last game and this one cleared out here by Green Canyon collected up here by Sadler I think new core still they're looking to hire 90k a year I'd like to thank them for supporting Bear River Athletics Move it over to Marshall far side. Tensmeyer taking up all the space, leaving it for Hastings, maybe a little bit too short. And her shot off to the right. Kamek will check in here for Bear River. Four substitutions on the far side here for Green Canyon. Still 7 0, 9 minutes, 20 seconds to go. Brooklyn Pond will have the goal kick. Pond able to block it. Reese, over to Marshall. Winder with the steel Evergreen Canyon. Sadler, staying with, sends it here to the near side. Shot wide right again, shot on here by Watterson. City Peebly checking into the game for the first time here tonight. Alexi Wynn also back in here for Bear River. Replacing recent Marshall. Also goes against Esquivel. And free kick coming here for Green Canyon. Stop here by Brooklyn Pond. Larson to the middle. Still trying to do the give and go here in the middle. Lady Bears break this one up. Call handball. We're back here on Bear River, so Green Canyon with a free kick. Kick 
see Chloe Sadler here for the free kick. Six and a half to go. Shot wide left. Addie Allen checks back in here for Bear River. Six minutes left to go here in the ball game. Lady Bears trail 7-0 here to Green Canyon. Drop back over to Jukes, who sends it ahead to about midfield on a hop. Collected here by Allen. And he sends this one ahead, Gracie. Can't quite get to that in time. It'll be a throwing coming here for Bear River. Winder in some space over Green Canyon. Brings it back the other way. Pushes the far side. A little double team and stolen away here by Olivia. Wynn sends it to the far side. Peebly puts a foot on it, but not enough to keep it inbounds. Throw in. Green Canyon on the far side. Five minutes to go. Give him go back over to Sadler. We're going to back here into the middle. Another good stop here by Brooklyn Pond. Winder in the middle. Sadler, back into the middle. Hastings trying to get a body on that one, but it goes out of bounds. Throwing here for Bear River. Destiny Mendoza checks back in. Maybe Roberts checks out. Another quick throw in here for Green Canyon. Winter. Her pass goes incomplete into the hands of Brooklyn Pond. Green Canyon returns. Wilkinson clicks here on the other side. Give and go back over to Sadler here in the middle. Pass too far ahead. Brooklyn Pond able to scoop that one up. Gracie stays with with a step off of her defender. Back over to the middle. We'll go out. Goal kick coming here for Green Canyon. Hastings from the midline, far side. She's making it through the defense until she met Olivia Meads. Slowed her right down. 
Foul against Kamek and a free kick coming here for Green Canyon. One and a half to go. Jensen with the free kick. Right into Brooklyn Pond's arms. Bears defense able to push this one back up. That's a last touch here by Moth. Rowan coming here for Bear River. Gracie with a quick throw, but in the wrong spot. They'll redo it. Turn inside or Ruby scoops this one up. Ten Eight, seconds to go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Siler clears it to the far side, and that's going to do it here in this one. Lady Bears. Taking both halves with a loss 7-0 to zero here against Green Canyon to wrap up their last home game of the season. Again, they will play again on Thursday at Logan. That will wrap up the regular season play. We'll have that one for you. We'll also have our chat with the coach brought to you by Chanshare Asad Farms. Don't forget football is away on Friday. That'll be at the new school, Westfield. You just take, or you go to 12th Street and then just head west from there. If you can't make that drive, we you got it for you. As well, a little bit more for you here at Bear River High School. I'm going to coach, talk to her team before she talks to us. This game brought to you by Change Here. Side of Arms will step aside and be back for a little bit more when we come back. For all your embroidery and screen printing needs, whether for business or just for fun, stop by Cover Up in Tremont or Brigham. At Cover Up, yeah, we can do that. For all your project needs, shop at Greer's Hardware, happily serving the community since 1976. With over 60 years of experience and personalized service, Guild Mortgage is your key to home ownership in Box Elder County and beyond. Friends and neighbors you know and trust. Trudy, Chris, Julie, Shannon, Rollin, Tara, Brittany, Andy, Chelsea. Stop by or give us a call today. Guild Mortgage, own what matters. The KSL Sports app, powered by kslsports.com. Connecting you with all the jazz action, the dunks, buzzer beaters, and ankle breakers. Podcasts from the pros and in-depth analysis. Download the free KSL Sports app today. Bear River Live is proud to bring you another production, Talk of the Town. These weekly episodes will bring local stories to life and keep you informed on what is happening in the community, as well as business spotlights and expert tips.
Earning your degree doesn't have to be complex. USU Brigham City lets you stay close to home and save money. As an Aggie, you'll have access to a personalized education with student support from faculty mentors. Let us help you achieve your goals your way. On campus, online, this is your U State. Dr. Todd Miller has expanded his team of medical professionals. Medical assistants, nurse practitioners, and estheticians at Miller Medical are ready to care for their clients with full services for family medical, pediatrics, beauty, and health. They also specialize in weight loss and hormone therapy. Miller Medical is now offering beauty and spa health treatments, as well as Botox. Most insurances are accepted, but a cash price discount is available. Let Miller Medical take care of all your health care needs. At Cash Valley Bank, we value our heritage and the history we've built within our communities. With over 45 years of experience behind us, we are confident in our ability to equip our customers with the necessary tools and expertise to navigate their financial journey. Whether you are ready to expand your existing business, embark on a new business venture, or are seeking better personal banking, let us help you reach new heights. Cash Valley Bank, mountains await. For 20 years, Valley View Granite has offered our local community the best quality and service for their home countertops. With the addition of Marble Ventures in Ogden, Utah, our team is now able to offer the same reliable and dependable service for their showers, tub surrounds, and more. With locations from Sandy to Idaho Falls, we offer the best value without sacrificing quality for your build or remodel. Come in and see us today. Valley View Granite, enhancing places people gather. Golden Spike Power Sports is still family owned and operated, serving the Bear River community since 1947. We're here to take care of all your power sport needs, located right on Main Street. Come and check us out and experience the difference. Investing in your education is an investment in yourself. Open doors with a degree from Utah State University and find your path to a more rewarding future. Reach your goals by attending USU Brigham City while staying close to home and saving money. Give yourself a chance to see the return. Your way, on campus, online. This is your U State. Great Basin Industrial has been building America with epic safety and quality since 2007, specializing in steel fabrication, machining, and paint. GBI engineers, ships, installs, and repairs a wide range of products. They design and build all steel and alloy work according to the highest industry standards. Let GBI help you get your project completed on time and on budget. If you're looking for work, join GBI's team for a great work environment, competitive pay, and benefits. Welcome back here to Bear River High School. Again, Bear River going to get the, or take the loss here from Green Canyon 7-0. You know, it's hard coming off a, a very emotional week. Last week being homecoming and senior night and, you know, coming out with a hard loss against Skyview. But it took a little bit, took a little bit of win out of the sales here for the Lady Bears to finish off their homestand again we'll have logan tomorrow get coaches thoughts on that 
And that will be on Thursday, 7 o'clock, over the hill. If you can't make it out, we'll have you covered for that before we end the week off with Bear River Football over at Westfield. And it's all thanks to these sponsors right here on your screens. The game, Cash Valley Granite, Lincoln Financial, The Grill, Frank May, Guild Mortgage, Greer's Do It Best Hardware, New Core Steel, Rudd Funeral Home, Chenshire Side Farms, Kansas Market, Central Milling. Again, they're great sponsors here for Bear River Athletics, KSL Sports. CNR, of course, for the replays, Utah State University, Miller Medical. Didn't have any Miller Medical moments here in this one. That's always a that's always a win. I'd like to thank Cover Up, Dangwood Studios, Rock and Roll Construction Products, Farm Bureau, Cash Valley Bank, Great Basin Industrial, Spike Power Sports, Mountain Valley Printing, and Bear River Animal Hospital. If you want to thank us, go thank them for this production. Not only of Lady Bear soccer, but football and Lady Bear's volleyball will return into the gym next week because they've hit region or halfway through region play. The fall sports are just coming to a close. Only three more games here for football than before playoffs start there. Soon we'll be into winter sports. Get our schedule together. It'll be a little bit different this year. You got with the with the uh, Westfield coming in. You know how it impacted football. You had a a buy. That's what put us over in Burley, Idaho, this year. So for uh, so for basketball, you got that to deal with, and you also have they had to uh, they had to expedite the schedule. I guess they had to move it up another week for state playoffs. So. You'll have, uh, you'll have a few games that are on Saturday. You'll have, I think, maybe two, maybe, I think maybe two on a Monday. Again, the double up against Box Elder won't happen. That will be, boys will be playing Box Elder first. They'll be playing that game before, they'll play the Bees before even December hits. Lady Bears basketball will, all, will still be the same on December 20th, I think. But again, those will both be home. We'll have that covered for you. Again, not looking too far ahead. You still got a few more weeks here of fall sports. Hopefully a little bit more than a few weeks. Because as we took a look at the RPI and saw everybody was in 4A soccer. Again, Snow Canyon leading the way, 12 to two. Mountain Crest, your regional 11 champions, not too far behind with a 14 and one record. Green Canyon still staying strong, 13 and three. And of course, the RPI standings are not reflected of just wins and losses. So if you got some teams up here that, like uh, Tipanogos at 10 and two, they're above Park City. 13-3. and three. Goes off the RPI number. Again, the cutoff, I believe, is uh, 24 and 24 spots. So Hillcrest is making the is making it into the playoffs again. Got to finish off this week and the final RPI will be released next week here at the UHSAA's website. Yeah, just waiting for Coach Wade to get done, and then we'll have a chat with her. Brought to you by Chan Chair Assad Farms. We're chatting with the coach. We'll just give her a few more moments. We'll thank a few more of our sponsors and be right back here to Bear River High School. Don't go anywhere. Did you know Kent's Market has an app? And it's free! Just go to your app store and type in Kent's Market and it'll come right up. Downloading the Kent's Market app gives you access to digital coupons, weekly deals, and access to your Kent's Kickback account. As you can see, the app is easy to use and can help you save. 
Download it now and get exploring. We'll see you soon at Kent's. Welcome back here to Bear River High School. In the game we got Coach Jessica Waite on the field here with Claire Wood. Go ahead and take it away. Thank you, Andy. So, Coach, obviously that wasn't how we wanted our last home game to go. It wasn't a great game, but at least it wasn't a shutout. What would you have liked to see better from our last home game? Um, Honestly, we started to get a little chippy with each other on the field at times, and that's something that I never want to happen. Um, regardless of how frustrating a game is, my my expectation is that we stay together as a team and we're not taking our frustrations out on each other. So that's one thing that I wish was better. Um, I think overall their play was really good, though, so I'm very how, pr proud of how we came out and played today. Me too. So what are we going to be working on in practice this week to get ready for Logan and then playoffs after Logan? Like I said in our keys of the game, just enjoying it. Um, you know, like I told a couple of the girls on the sideline, high school is not forever. Um, and you don't have your high school team forever. So just enjoying the time that we get together and the games that we have left. Um, so just having fun in practice and just playing the game that we love. I don't think there's anything we need to work on specifically at this time. Um, we've done all the training that we need to do. I don't think that we need to adjust anything necessarily, but just playing the game that we know how to play. I totally agree, Coach. Okay, so with Logan coming up next week and then playoffs after that, how do you think we're going to do in playoffs? I expect them to get their first playoff win in the last 10 years um like we've seen this year this is a strong team when we show up and play a full 80 minutes and i fully expect them to come out i think they want that as much as i want that for them so i'm hoping we get a, at least one playoff win this year i hope that for you too and with this team that shows up and shows out our freshmen have been killing it this year what do you have to say about our few starters um i think honestly the whole varsity crew is is, has done a really good job. Our freshmen that we have have honestly just played outstanding games. Um, they've definitely earned their spots on the varsity team, and even those that are, have been starting have earned that. Um, even like against upperclassmen, like they have been pushing and competing and exactly what we expect from freshmen that we pull up to varsity. That's great. Okay, thank you, Coach, and good luck with the playoffs. Back to you, Andy. Uh, thanks, Claire. Thanks, Chan Cher, for sponsoring our chatting with the coach. And again, Thanks to Coach Jessica Waite for giving us the time and your thoughts after this one. Again, we will have the Logan game for you. That'll be on Thursday, 7 o'clock kickoff time before we finish off with football at Westfield. We'll say goodnight with that for... Myself, Jessica, and Claire, we say goodnight from Bear River High School, your final Green Canyon 7, Bear River 0, right here on Bear River Live.